Hello, everyone, and welcome to Math in Real Life, IRL Math. My name is Andrea Hall, and I'm coming with you because we're going to talk about measurements today, converting cubit to inches. So here's a little picture over here in the corner of a man. Uh, so back in ancient times, people didn't walk around with a ruler. Uh, they used their body parts, okay, to measure um, items. So when instructions were given, they would say cubits. Well, how long exactly is a cubit? So this math lesson actually has a little bit of history in it. So according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, a cubit generally taken as equal to 18 inches or 457 millimeters, okay? And it was based on a length of the arm from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger and was considered equivalent to six palms or it's two spans. So in this image, you see the picture of the man and he has, it's taken, a cubit is from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger. And that is typically 18 inches. So for all intents and purposes, in some cultures it varied, some cultures it actually went up to 21 inches, but we're gonna do 18 inches. So this means that one cubit equals 18 inches. All right, so how does that work out in a math problem? Well, let's say you walked four cubits, okay? So you're telling someone, yeah, I just walked four cubits. How many inches did you actually walk? Well, let's go ahead and do the conversion. So what we would have first, what we would do first, is we would write the four cubits, right? And I'm just gonna say 4C, um, I say CU for cubits, okay? So you walked four cubits, right? So what we're going to do with this number four is that we're going to multiply it by what we call a conversion factor, okay? It's called a factor because we're multiplying it, and when you multiply something by another number, those are considered factors. And it's actually going to be a fraction. So we're going to take this, one cubit equals 18 inches, and we're going to convert it to a fraction. So it could either be one CU over 18, IN for inches. So it could either be one CU over 18 inches, or it could be 18 inches over one cubit. So when you do a conversion factor, all you're doing is making a fraction and either one of them is on top and the other one's at the bottom. Okay, it could be either or. But how do you know which way it should go, right? How do you know if you should use this one, that ratio, or how do you know if you should use this ratio? Okay, the conversion factor or conversion ratio. Well, it depends on what you wanna cancel out. Since I started out with four cubits, then I want my denominator to be cubits so that I could cancel it out. So I'm gonna say 18 inches over one cubit because whatever I wanna cancel out, I put it in the opposite slot, okay? I'm gonna put that four cubits over one so I have two fractions so I don't make a mistake there. So what happens is one cubit divided by that cubit, they cancel out and then I just multiply straight across. Okay, so I'm gonna say four times 18. And four times 18 gives me 72. So I'm gonna put 72 inches here at the top. And one times one is just one. So really it's gonna be 78 inches. I hope that made sense. So as a recap, whenever you're trying to convert measurements, okay, you have to have a conversion factor or conversion ratio. One cubit equals 18 inches. It would either be one CU over 18 inches or 18 inches over one CU. To figure out which one you use, you look at the measurement you're trying to cancel out. And since I'm trying to cancel out the cubits, one has to be in the numerator, the other one has to be in the denominator. It's kind of like four divided by four is one, right? Two divided by two is one. 
a cubit divided by a cubit would cancel out, it will give you one. So that's what ends up happening here, okay? And then I just multiply straight across like regular because this is just multiplication. And four times 18 is 78 inches. One times one is one and I have 78 inches. So how many inches did I walk? I walked 78 inches. Uh, let's take it one more step further just to make sure you understand the concept. Okay, so let me go ahead and delete some of this right here. Um, and let's just say, how many feet did you walk? All right, so if, she walk, if we walked 78 inches, well, how many feet did you walk? Well, we know that 12 inches, and if you don't, write it down, 12 inches equals one foot. Okay, so 12 inches equals one foot. Now we need to have a conversion ratio or a conversion factor. Okay, so it's either going to be 12 IN over one foot, or it could be one foot over 12 inches, right? I'm gonna write down the units that I'm converting. So I'm converting 78 inches. I'm gonna put 78 inches here, right? So which one would make me cancel out the inches, right? So I'm gonna multiply it by a factor. It's either this one or this one. I'm trying to cancel out the inches. It has to be the second one because the inches is in your denominator. So it'd be one foot over 12 inches because that's what I'm trying to cancel out. I'll put the 70 inches over one just to remind myself that's a fraction. The inches cancel out. I'm going to do 78 times one, which is 78 feet at the top. And then I have one times 12. So that'll be 12 inches at the bottom. Oh, no inches because I canceled the inches out. So just be 12 at the bottom. So now what I have to do is I have to take my 78 and I'm going to divide it by 12. And when I divide 78 by 12, I get 6.5. So you walk 6.5 feet. All right, I hope this video on converting measurements and we first started out with cubits to inches was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments below if you liked it, if it was helpful or not. And see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get more videos about math in real life. IRL math. IRL math. Thank you again for joining us.